This is an introduction to Viva Insight, the Microsoft product that sits in your Outlook. You can find it by logging into office.com and it's also available as an app in Microsoft Teams. Before I show you these, what is Viva Insights? I will leave some links below, but in short, it's a tool to help improve your productivity and well-being with data-driven, privacy-protected insights and recommendations. I'm going to start by showing you the app in Microsoft Teams. This is the Viva Insights app in Microsoft Teams. It's available on the desktop version and mobile versions. In the desktop version, Version, I've got mine pinned to the side. You can do this by clicking here and searching for Viva Insights. Just right click on the icon and click pin. And then to move it to the top, you just simply drag. The Teams app is where I start my mornings whilst I'm waiting for my Outlook to load up. After checking my calendar, I typically go to Stay Connected. This gives me a summary of the emails that I might need to deal with. So there'll be emails here where I might have asked someone a question and I haven't got a response yet, or perhaps someone's asked me a question and I haven't responded. This area will also show any meetings that I haven't responded to. A couple of things to point out here. You've got the pin option. This allows you to pin the contact into this area here. Clicking here allows you to set up a meeting reminder. Viva Insights will keep track of your meetings meetings with this contact. If you haven't had a meeting with this person in say a month, Viva Insights will suggest setting one up. This is how it will look. It will come into your Stay Connected tab. And from here, you can choose the date and time and send an invite. So it helps to keep everything in one place. Going back to the Home tab now, let's have a look at the other options. This area here allows you to reflect on how you're feeling this morning. So this ties in with the well-being. As you can see, I feel excellent on Fridays. Under this activities for you section, I can send praise to my colleagues. So if I click here, I can send one of my colleagues a badge. I simply select the badge and then enter their name in here and this will send them the badge in chat. Personally, I think it's better to tell someone they're doing a good job rather than sending them a unicorn. But these can be fun to send from time to time. You can also set yourself a reminder to build a habit of recognizing your colleagues. Going back to the home tab, this area here provides guided meditation. I find this very soothing and a great way to unwind and to just to switch off from work for five or 10 minutes. Down here, you've got top actions for today. This section here suggests a contact. You can get reminders of tasks and unread emails by marking this person as important. You can also book focus time. This is a great way for stopping your diary getting filled up with back-to-back -back meetings and gives you time to focus on your day-to-day -day job. So you can book the suggested time here, or if you click on more options, you can book your time here as well. You can also personalize it a bit more. So rather than focus time, I'm gonna set some time aside for checking emails. For more time slots, click here, and you get further suggestions. Viva Insights automatically finds slots in your diary for you to book time out. Going back to the Home tab, last thing to look at is Microsoft To Do, and this will give you a list of your tasks that are due today. As you can see, I'm all caught up. Something called a virtual commute. This helps you to wind down at the end of the working day. This is especially useful when working from home. I click here to start my commute. This is where I can set up tasks for another day. The idea here is to keep your task load off your mind when you log off work. The next screen gives you a summary of the meetings that you've got scheduled for tomorrow. Here, I can reflect how I'm feeling at the end of the day. And on the last screen, this provides guided meditation to help me unwind. And on the final screen, tells me to enjoy my day. Viva Insights also sits in your Outlook. I'm just gonna to touch on this briefly. It pretty much has the same features as the Teams app, but it does have some extra functionality. The one that I really find useful is this one, prepare for your meeting. It shows you how many people have been invited and how many have accepted. You can see it's an online meeting. Review task shows any related emails. But the bit I love is book preparation time. This allows me to book in time before the meeting. This can help stop people booking back-to-back -back meetings and gives you time to prepare. To add this Viva Insights pane to your Outlook, go to the Home tab and then click Viva Insights. The pane will open up on the right-hand side and to keep it here, click the pin. You can access a whole different level of personal insights by logging into office.com and searching for Viva Insights. I'm not gonna go too deep in this video, but this provides personalized recommendations, insights and tips to help you do your best work. I recommend that you log in and take a look around. Each card has this why it matters so you can find out more. The next video is about Viva Learning. Click subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on videos like this.